friends, welcome back to my channel. So right now we're here in Charlottenburg Palace. It's a palace in Berlin. So this is also a Baroque style kind of uh, castle. It's uh, built during the 1700s and some parts of it were finished during the 1800s. So let's check it out. Charlottenburg Palace, with the old palace together with the new wing, is indeed the largest and the most significant palace complex in Berlin, stemming from the former Brandenburg electors, Prussian kings, and German emperors. The palace was built at the end of the 17th century and was greatly expanded during the 18th century. It includes much lavish internal decoration in Baroque and Rococo styles. During Second World War, the palace was badly damaged but has since been reconstructed. The palace with its gardens are the major tourist attractions. The former summer residence is now one of the most important attractions in German capital. Charlottenburg offers the chance to step back in time and experience life as a German royal or just to escape from the busy city center to spend some time in the relaxing grounds. For just 15 minutes by car or around 30 minutes via public transportation, you can already enjoy this wonderful and relaxing palace garden for free. A stroll through the gardens of Charlottenburg Palace is a walk through 300 years of garden design and to all their buildings deserving of a visit. They include the Belvedere, the small garden palace near the Spree River with its precious KPM porcelain, the mausoleum of Queen Louise, and the new pavilion built by Karl Friedrich Schinkel, all fittingly set in a decorative garden reinterpreted in recent times. As we all know, the pandemic here in Germany isn't over yet. It's highly recommended to stay at the safety of our own homes. This tour was conducted in October before the semi-lockdown in Germany. However, when it reopens sometime next year, I can definitely suggest a whole day tour in this wonderful palace. Around three hours would be nice to visit the inside of the palace and the museum and half day to walk around through the garden as it also has a really nice playground for the little ones. To visit the museum and the palace itself, you can purchase the tickets for a discounted price in Berlin Welcome Card website. 
or for a regular price at the cashier. Parking is just in front of the small orangery, but it might be full in peak hours. So it's better to visit the palace by public transportation or just park your car outside of the palace or garden area. That's it for today, momshies and friends. If you love videos like this and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the red button and the notification bell so you'll be updated. Thank you for watching and be some nest and mal. Tschüss!